Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I did any kind of haul videos. So in today's video, we are going to talk about some of the products that I got recently, like in two to three months and some of the products that I've been loving, some of your recommendation as well. It has a little bit of skincare, a little bit of random products and a little bit of makeup. So if you enjoy haul videos like me, then stay tuned. All of the products that I got are either from Amazon or Nika. I will link everything in the bottom box below, so don't worry. The first product that I got is this particular newest variant from Dove Scrub range. Now, I have tried all of their variant and this was the only one that I didn't try. And this is, by the way, their most scrubby scrub. So if you are new to Dove Scrubs, they do mention these three dots and depend on which one is filled. It describes the scrubbiness of the scrub. So how much gritty or how much gentle a scrub is now this one is their brown sugar and coconut butter one it doesn't have any kind of overpowering coconut notes but it is a very nice a rich body scrub if you talk about the scrubbing power it is gentle yet scrubby all of the dub scrubs are but this one is by far the most scrubby scrub dub that i've tried i got this in a sale for about like 450 or 500 rupees but the mrp is something between 600 or 700 rupees now my body care generally combines a little bit of acid exfoliation as well as physical scrub. Coming on to a very old repurchase. Now, I really used to love the Bella Sensitive Intimate Wash and recently I tried a lot of Intimate Washes but none of them compares to how gentle this is. It contains lactic acid, aloe joint, panthenol, glycerin and it's a perfect Intimate Wash. It comes in this humongous 300ml of pump packaging. It costs less than 250 rupees which is a bang for your buck. Coming on to this particular brand called as Underrated. Now you guys requested a lot about my review on this particular brand i'm currently trying it and i am going to do a dedicated kind of a shorts or video on it soon so this one is the brand underrated very similar packaging the white labeled packaging as minimalist or ordinary or any other white label packaging going on but if you talk about the ingredients of the product this is a very decent product not too bad not too good personally tried three of their products first one is the acne free body moisturizer which contains the goodness of cocoa butter salicylic acid neem and turmeric now this one is a very nice lightweight body lotion absorbs immediately doesn't have silicone doesn't have paraben doesn't has mineral oil but it does has fragrance which i appreciate many of you guys don't if you talk about the texture as i said it is a super lightweight texture blends immediately even if your skin is a little bit damp sometimes body lotion that contains a little bit more emollients tend to give you this white cast but this one doesn't it absorbs immediately and it has this like I don't know, paper soaps kind of a smell, which I don't mind, but I just expected them to smell a little bit better. The MRP is 550 rupees for 200 ml, but I got it for like 250 or 300 rupees during sale. I also got the Alpha Arbutin 2% serum from Untreated, which has the goodness of Ashwagandha and Gotu Cola. Now, these are the two ingredients that now I am not sure about how the serum works, but it comes in a pump package, which I am really grateful. The MRP is 720 rupees, but I got it around like 480 or 500 rupees try and let you guys know what are my thoughts but the last product that i got from underrated is their purifying and acne free gel face wash now i am getting a lot of acne currently i'm trying a lot of acne fighting product just to test it out for you guys because i get a lot of comments regarding dark spot acne spots acne in general and this particular face wash has salicylic acid niacinamide neem and lemon this does has lemon extract that can sometimes be lemon essential oil this ingredient might not be great for you this one didn't suit me but i I don't know why underrated would include lemon in acne free gel wash i think they should make a better choice in terms of ingredients cost about 319 rupees for 100 ml and i got this for about like 250 which is a decent buy and it also comes in a pump packaging which is a great thing now i got a lot of makeup i tried this brand called as mars the internet is raving about this particular brand and for all of the good reasons now i got this eyeshadow palette and this particular range focuses on a different city of india which is a great unique thing and I got the obviously Kolkata one because I am Pong. They also has Chandigarh, Delhi, Mumbai if I'm not wrong. But yeah, if you talk about the pigmentation and the colors, this is a brilliant. For under the budget of 500 rupees, I think these are the best kind of eyeshadow palette that I have seen. I have tried the Nika K ones, but this one is the shade range is beautiful. And the overall theme of this particular palette is really what intrigued me. So for example, this particular Kolkata one has all the like Pong names dedicated for the shades. So 
this yellow one is called alu posto this one is called mishti do shandesh and this one is called pujo which is a nice highlighting shade and all of the shades are really pigmented the mrp is 399 rupees but i got this for 250 i'm not sure but yeah this one is first product that i got from mars the second one is the liquid eyeshadow i was really skeptical because the swiss beauty sparkly or highlighting eyeshadow liquid eyeshadows were a disappointment for me because it is really chunky and doesn't blend that well but this one i wore it today even the eyeshadow palette i wore for my eye look today this one is brilliant i have the shade called as nebula but this is also available in five or six more different shades the overall pigment present in this one is very finely milled it doesn't give you the vibe of under 200 rupees the liquid eyeshadow vibe and it comes in this beautiful rose gold packaging and i'm in love with this particular product i'm gonna try more of affordable makeup product because I am not a fan of affordable makeup product for two reasons. First of all, the price to quality ratio is not that great and the quantity is obviously great but the overall quality of the products really deteriorates especially what i have seen in swiss beauty products but the mass product so far is going really great i also got this particular eye coal or eye kajal in the nude variant it also comes with a sharpener for under the budget of 200 which is appreciated this one surprisingly doesn't bulges and smudges this is one of the qualities that i didn't typically find in any kind of affordable coal or affordable kajal so yeah apart from that i also got these three maybelline products the first one is the fit me dewy plus smooth primer i was not a fan of that matte primer but the dewy one just stole my heart this is such a brilliant moisturizing and a hydrating primer it is absolutely bonkers the price that you pay for this particular primer is something around like 500 to 600 Rupees. So the quality it is very much comparable to the Smashbox one and I'm in love with this. The next two are both lip products. I got the Vinyl Ink in the shade Koi. I love the Vinyl Ink range. The Vinyl Ink is by far the best lip range from Maybelline. I love this particular range. This one is super long lasting. Gives you the shine and gloss and I love this particular range. I got it on sale for about like 500 or like 620 rupees i'm not sure but the mrp is something about 750 to 800 rupees completely justifies the price and i love this particular shade this is a really nice nude pinkish shade which can work for any type of skin tones lastly i got the lifter gloss everybody was raging about the lifter gloss and i got it in the shade petal this is a beautiful pink gloss and just apply it as it is or to just top it off your lip look but yeah this is a great 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 gloss non-sticky and also it is enriched with hyaluronic acid does gives you that plumpness the mrp is 799 rupees i got a couple of base products i got the infallible fresh wear 32 hour foundation from l'oreal now my shade is 140 golden beige and i got the similar one of that compact foundation one which i could not find i think i lost it but yeah that one is also brilliant but the compact one compared to the foundation one i bought both of them in a similar shade that is the 140 golden beige but the compact one is slightly darker than the foundation one the foundation is a perfect match for me it's a brilliant foundation it has a buildable medium coverage comes in a pump packaging which is a great thing and it lasts long I recently traveled with this one to chennai and chennai weather is really humid it's very similar to kolkata you sweat a lot it's very humid and it withstand that weather so it's a great thing it didn't bulge it didn't settle onto my fine lines which my charlotte tilbury foundation sometimes does but this one didn't so i <laughs> I'm not sure about my life choices but overall it's a great foundation comes in a lot of different shades has an SPF rating of 25 also has vitamin C in it so it's a great thing and I believe it's a fragrance free formula I'm not sure the MRP is something around 899 to 900 rupees even my sister who goes regularly to the college loves this particular foundation has a similar thoughts that I have seen and overall it's a really great foundation for any skin type whether you have oily skin or dry skin next product is this yellow corrector from LA girl and it is almost like a beige corrector not like truly yellow corrector which is something that I wanted now I got this especially for brightening under my eyes and it works amazingly I got this for 300 or 400 rupees during the Amazon sale typically LA girl concealers range between 500 to 700 rupees so I got a great bargain there and overall the quality of LA girl concealers I don't have to emphasize on it more these are brilliant blendable creamy and they last quite a long time I also also got the max strobe cream i got the small chotu one because i don't typically use strobe cream on a regular day-to-day -day basis but yeah i wanted to have a strobe cream in my collection got this one for 1200 rupees really steep 
price for such a small tube but yeah i really like it coming on to last three products in the list these two are my sisters but i had to mention in this video because i am currently using this so i have the elf lip lacquer and uh this is a really nice clear lip gloss non-sticky doesn't bulges and it also doesn't stick to your hair and everything it's a very comfortable lip gloss it comes in an affordable price tag and because it's clear you can top off any of your lip look you can even mix it up with your lip tints or cheek tints and just apply it like that that's something that i do but yeah overall it's a great affordable clear lip gloss i also have the earth rhythm lip and cheek tint i was really skeptical about earth rhythms makeup product but this particular tint was bought by my sister and i stole it from her this is a beautiful lip and cheek tint maroon pink kind of a tint which can work for any skin tone and this only cost about 300 to 500 rupees my sister got it for like 314 or 350 rupees i'm not sure but for the pricing this particular one is a really great has really nice pigmentation not too much not too light and this can work for any skin tone last but not the least i have the plums eyeliner i am really disappointed by the overall packaging but if you talk about the overall eyeliner it is not that pigmented but for the price range you can get Lacme Shine Line or even Maybelline Colossal, those are better, but this one I don't really like it. It is not that pigmented. I typically like my eyeliner brushes to be a little bit flexible. This is very rigid. And secondly, I like my liner to be on a matte side, not glossier side. It comes in a midway, but the overall pigmentation is really bad. Oh, I almost forgot to mention I also repurchased the Novology Acne Reduction Serum. This is, I believe, my third tube, and this is one of the products that hands down help me with my acne routine on my acne journey and i had to buy this particular serum again because this is such a holy grail product of mine it is slightly expensive than your normal serum it comes in a 28 ml of packaging and cost something about 800 to 900 rupees you can't find this in amazon i believe but you can get it from their website which i will link it in the bottom box below great serum if you have any kind of acne problems if you stripped around this far then i have some like miscellaneous goodies that i wanted to share with you i got these two sunglasses from amazon this is such a cool sunglass oh my god i got it for about like 600 rupees 700 rupees i'm not sure but yeah i will mention the exact price and link also got a tinkerbell inspired sunglass which is again really pretty i got both of them comes in a very similar price tag but yeah this is how it looks like it's a very trendy piece of accessory that you might want to add in your wardrobe yeah i really wanted to mention these two previous month i think i went to kolkata went to this random mela and i found an anime merch there and i got these four chotu demon slayer figures each of them were about like 150 rupees each which is a bargain and i also got this ryuk which was for about like 500 or 600 rupees it had a little bit of staining hair and there but overall it adds up to the look and i am really like happy with this two purchases and last but not the least because bleach thousand year blood war arc core 2 is coming my boyfriend gifted this particular figure to me which is really close to my heart so yeah this was my haul video like a chill haul video that i wanted to do for a while let me know your thoughts or any other product recommendation or any of the newer launches that you want me to try in the bottom box below also mention what was your favorite product from all of the products that i mentioned in the bottom box below like this video if you like my content share this video to any of your friends and lastly subscribe to this channel head on that bell notification and i will see you in the next video so bye bye and take care